Renounce yourself and you will find your true self. Lose your life and you will save it. Seek yourself and in the long run you will find only hatred, loneliness, despair, anger, ruin and decay. But seek Christ and you will find him and with him everything else will be added. Most of us find it very difficult to actually want heaven. One reason for this difficulty is that we have not been trained. All our education tends to fix our minds on this world. If you read history, you will see that the Christians who did the most for the present world were precisely those who thought the most of the next. It is since Christians have largely ceased to think of the other world that they have become so ineffective in this one. Excerpts from the book Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis Hello, we are soulful devotions. If you've made it this far, believe me, it wasn't by accident. God has a special purpose for your life, and we are certain that he guided you here to receive a message of transformation. If our content touches your heart, we ask that you like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with those you love. Together, we can spread the word and the love of God even further. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the word of God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I want you to deeply understand this. No matter what you're facing right now, no matter how impossible it may seem, God will make a way for you. He will open doors that seemed closed forever, doors you never thought could open. And we're not just talking about small opportunities, but big doors, the ones that change everything in your life. Some of you may feel trapped in your circumstances, as if you're walking in circles, waiting for a change that never seems to come. You've been knocking on doors, growing tired of trying, but today I tell you, when God decides to act, nothing can resist. No barrier is too high. No door is too heavy to remain closed. There are doors that only God can open, and when that happens, no one, nothing, can close them. It doesn't matter how long you've been waiting or how hard it has been. God's power surpasses any adversity. You may believe the path is blocked, but with God, there are no impossible barriers. He sees what we cannot. He already knows the future that lies beyond our reach, and he is always at work, even when we don't understand. You may feel like nothing is happening right now, but know this, God is preparing everything for the right moment, and when that moment arrives, a door will open that will lead you to a new season of blessings, a new season of joy. I know waiting can be difficult. We want things to change quickly. It's natural to feel impatient, but remember, God's timing is perfect. He knows the exact moment when everything will change. And when that door opens, you will understand why you had to wait. When we place our trust in God, when we hand over our worries to Him and stop trying to control every detail ourselves, that's when miracles begin to happen. Doors that seemed completely unreachable suddenly open wide. Maybe it's a new job opportunity, the restoration of a relationship, financial improvement, or even the healing you've been praying for. Whatever the situation, know that God knows each and every one of your needs. And in the moments when you feel like giving up, that's when you need to persevere even more. The fact that the door hasn't opened yet doesn't mean it won't. God never forgets his promises. If he planted a dream in your heart, if he gave you a vision for your life, trust that he will fulfill it. Today I want you to hold two important verses close to your heart. The first is from Revelation 3, 8, which says, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. This is a powerful promise, my dear friends. When God opens a door, no force on earth can close it. That door is yours and nothing will stand in the way. 
The second verse is from Matthew 7, which says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. This reminds us of the importance of asking, of continuing to seek, and of never stopping knocking on that door. Because it will open at the right time, do not lose hope, do not give up. Keep trusting in God and believing that your miracle is closer than you think. Beloved, my wish today is that you feel strengthened. Do not focus on the size of the obstacle before you, but rather on the greatness of your God. He is greater than any challenge or problem you may face. If you keep your faith strong and continue to trust in Him, God will open doors that seemed unreachable. And when that happens, your lives will never be the same. Brothers and sisters, as we continue talking about how God can open doors that seem impossible, I want to focus on something essential, faith. Faith is the foundation that will sustain you in those moments when you feel like giving up. It is what propels you forward when fear tries to hold you back. You see, when you're waiting for that door to open, fear often creeps in. Fear of the unknown. Fear that maybe the door will never open. Fear that your prayers are going unheard, and fear is powerful. It can make you question everything, your decisions, your future, and even your faith in God. But here's the truth. Faith is stronger than fear. Faith is what breaks through doubts, uncertainties, and worries, even when you can't see what's on the other side of that door. Fear whispers, what if it never happens? But faith boldly declares, God will make it happen. Fear tells you to give up, but faith says, keep going. God is not finished with you yet. It's human to have moments of fear. We all go through it, but you can't let fear take over your heart. You cannot let it make you forget who your God is. The same God who created the heavens and the earth. The same God who parted the seas. The same God who has brought you this far will open that door for you. Do not let fear overshadow God's power in your life. Do not let fear convince you that your challenges are too big for him to handle. The key to overcoming fear is to feed your faith. And how do you strengthen your faith? By staying close to God, spending time in prayer, listening to his voice, and remembering his promises. Faith comes from knowing who God is and trusting that he will do what he said he would do. Let me ask you something important. Do you truly believe that God is faithful, that he loves you deeply and wants the best for you? If the answer is yes, then it's necessary to trust that he will open the right door at the right time. Even if it seems like nothing is happening right now, even if everything feels silent, know that God is working behind the scenes. Faith is not based on what we see. Faith is believing in what we cannot yet see. In Hebrews 11.1 1, we read, Now faith is the assurance of what we hope for and the conviction of what we do not see. In other words, faith is having full confidence that God is working, even when the door remains closed. It's believing that he is preparing something extraordinary, even if it seems to be taking time. I understand, friends, waiting can be difficult. Perhaps it is one of the most challenging tests we face. But remember, waiting makes faith grow. If everything happened immediately, we wouldn't need to trust as much. But when there's a delay, when we go through a season of waiting, it's in that moment that our faith is truly tested and strengthened. The waiting period is not wasted time. It's a time for growth, for character building, and for preparing your heart for the blessings that God is reserving. It's natural to feel tempted to rush, to try to force the doors open on your own. But I encourage you, resist that temptation. 
Let God open the door in his perfect time, when we try to rush things. We risk walking through doors that weren't meant for us, and we could end up missing the blessings that were destined to come at the right time. Trust that God's plan is perfect and that he will open the right door at the exact moment. God's timing is always perfect, better than ours. He knows the exact moment when we are ready and he knows when the door is ready to be opened. Remember the verse I shared earlier from Proverbs 3, 5, 6. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Trusting in God isn't based on what we see or understand. It's believing that even when things seem to make no sense, he knows exactly what he's doing. He has the complete plan. If we surrender to his control, he will guide us to the right door at the right time. I want to share another powerful verse with you from Isaiah 41. 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is God's promise to each one of you. He says, Do not fear, I am with you. He is reminding you that he walks beside you, step by step, even during this waiting period for the door that has not yet opened. He is your strength, your support, your guide. You are not alone in this journey. So while you wait for God to open the door, choose faith over fear. Trust that he is working on your behalf, even when you cannot see it. Do not let fear steal the peace and joy that come from knowing that God is in control. He is the God who makes the impossible possible. He is the one who holds all the keys, who opens the doors that no one else can open. And when doubt creeps in, when fear tries to steal your confidence, remember God's promises. Speak faith over your situation. God, I believe you are opening doors for me. I believe you are making a way where there seems to be no way. I trust in your timing, and I know you will not fail me. Dear brothers and sisters, sometimes the hardest part of this process isn't praying or holding on to hope, but waiting. It is during the wait that many of us begin to doubt. We feel like giving up, like letting go of our faith. We knock on the door, we pray, we do everything we can, but the door remains closed. And it's in this moment that the enemy tries to plant discouragement, whispering, Maybe it will never happen. Perhaps at some point the thought has crossed your mind, has God forgotten me? But hear this, God has not forgotten you. He has heard every one of your prayers, seen every tear shed, and knows exactly what you need. The fact that the door hasn't opened yet doesn't mean he isn't working. Sometimes the greatest blessings come after the longest waits. This is where perseverance comes in. Perseverance is about not giving up, no matter how long the wait. It's holding on to God's promises, even when everything around you seems still. Perseverance is that inner strength that says, I will not give up. I will keep trusting. I will keep believing. I will keep waiting because I know my God is faithful. And this kind of perseverance, friends, isn't easy. It requires faith, determination, and an unwavering belief that God will come through for you. It's easy to trust God when the doors open quickly. It's easy to have faith when everything is going well. But real faith is forged during the wait. Real faith is strengthened in those moments when we want to give up, but choose to keep going. Let me tell you something powerful. Every time you choose to persevere, you are growing stronger. Every time you say, I will not give up, your faith deepens. And every time you refuse to quit, you are one step closer to the moment when God will open that door for you. You may not see it now, but God is preparing something extraordinary behind that door. 
and your perseverance is part of the process. Now let's talk about patience. Patience is trusting in God's timing. It's saying, Lord, I trust you, even when I don't understand the delay. I believe you know what's best for me, and I'm willing to wait for your perfect timing. Dear ones, God's timing is never late. It may not align with our schedule, but it's always the best. And here's the truth. Sometimes we're not ready for the door to open just yet. Sometimes God is working in us, molding us, and preparing us for the blessing that lies beyond that door we've been waiting for. He doesn't just guide us to the destination. He cares deeply about the journey we are on and who we are becoming along the way. While we are eager to get there, God is more interested in our growth, in the transformation of our character. He wants us to be strong, ready to receive what he has in store. Think about it, if God gave us everything we wanted at the exact moment we asked for it, we would never learn the lessons that only waiting can teach. We wouldn't develop patience, we wouldn't be forged in perseverance and our faith wouldn't be strong enough to handle the next level of blessings. Waiting often is a gift. It's in this period that we learn to fully lean on God, to depend on Him for every step, and to trust in His perfect timing. I know that some of you may be thinking, but I've been waiting for so long. I don't know how much longer I can hold on. And I completely understand because waiting can be incredibly challenging. It tests our patience, our faith, and can even shake our joy. But allow me to encourage you with a powerful truth. Your wait is not in vain. God sees your perseverance. He notices your patience. And in the right time, he will open that door. And when it opens, it will be something much greater and better than you imagined. Isaiah 40. 31 gives us this promise, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. What a powerful message. Waiting on the Lord doesn't weaken us. It renews us. He lifts us up, gives us strength to keep running, and keeps us firm for the journey ahead. If you are in a season of waiting right now, hold on to this truth. God is renewing your strength. He is preparing you to soar higher, to run further, and to walk through that door with confidence and purpose. Remember, God's delays are not his denials. Just because the door hasn't opened yet doesn't mean it will remain closed. His timing is perfect, and at the right moment, you will see what he has prepared for you. It simply means that God is setting the stage for your breakthrough. He is aligning every detail, moving the pieces, and organizing everything for something much greater than you can imagine. Patience and perseverance aren't just about enduring the wait. They are opportunities to grow in faith, to trust more deeply in God, and to prepare yourself for what's to come. Because when God opens that door, you will need to be ready to walk through it. You will need to be prepared to step into the blessing with confidence, knowing that God has been with you every step of the way. Friends, sometimes we pray for small opportunities, while God wants to give us something much bigger. We ask for just enough to survive, but God is planning to pour out blessings in abundance over our lives. We can become so focused on one door that we miss the fact that God is working on something much greater. While we're fixated on the door in front of us, God is already planning to open a door. We haven't even considered. The Bible reminds us in Ephesians 3.20, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power, that is at work within us. Did you hear that? God is able to do far more than we can ask or even dream. And here's the key part. 
It's not according to our strength or our ability. It's according to His power. God's power has no limits. His resources are endless. He is not bound by the things that limit us. We may see obstacles, but God sees opportunities. We may see blockages, but God sees possibilities. Where we see a closed door, God sees a path to something even greater. Let me share something with you that may be a little hard to hear, but it's true. Sometimes God doesn't open the door you're asking for because he has something better. Sometimes the door you're praying for isn't aligned with his plan for your life, and he knows that if you walk through it, you won't experience the fullness of what he has for you. I understand that this can be difficult to grasp because in our human minds, we often think we know what's best for us. We think, God, if only you would give me this job, this opportunity, this relationship, everything would be perfect. But God, in his infinite wisdom, knows what's truly best. He sees the bigger picture and is working out every detail for our good. Maybe you're praying for a promotion at work, but God is preparing you for an entirely new career, something that will bless you far beyond what you're asking for. Maybe you're praying for the restoration of a specific relationship, but God is planning to bring someone into your life who will lead you into a much deeper, more fulfilling season. Or perhaps you're asking for just enough financially to survive, but God is preparing to pour out such a blessing on you that you'll have more than enough and be able to bless others. God's plan is always bigger than we can imagine, and that's why we need to trust him. We need to believe that he knows what he's doing, even when it doesn't make sense to us. If a door hasn't opened yet, it's because he's preparing something better. God's ways are higher than ours, his thoughts are deeper, and his plans for our lives are beyond what we can comprehend. So if you find yourself in a place where the door hasn't opened yet, don't be discouraged, don't lose hope. God is working on something far greater for you. He is aligning every piece in your favor, even though you can't see it yet. And here's something I really want you to understand. When God opens the door, it will be so much better than anything you could have planned. When that door opens, it will lead you into a season of abundance, a season of peace, a season of joy. It will be more than you expected, more than you dreamed. You will look back and say, Wow, God, your plan was so much better than mine. I'm so glad I waited. I'm so glad... I trusted you. Friends, I know that sometimes waiting is hard. I know that sometimes the delay can feel like God isn't listening, but he is. He is preparing something wonderful for you, and when it's ready, he will open that door. And when he does, you will see that the wait was worth it. Now, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I would like to invite each of you to enter into a moment of prayer with us at Soulful Devotions. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we exalt you and thank you for this word that reignited in our hearts the reminder of your infinite power, your endless goodness, and your perfect plans that transform our lives. Even when we cannot see with our own eyes, we know that you are always working, always caring for every detail, tirelessly working for our good. Father, we lift up before you every person who is hearing this message, those who are eagerly waiting for a breakthrough. You know their pain, you see their struggles, and you understand their deepest needs, those that they can barely express. And it is in the mighty name of Jesus that we cry out today. Open the doors, Lord, doors that no one else can open, doors of opportunity, doors of healing, doors of blessings and peace. Lord, we lift up those who are going through financial difficulties, and with hearts full of faith, we ask you, show your power as the God who provides. Where there seems to be no way 
you will make a way. We cry out for financial miracles in their lives, for new and unexpected opportunities. May the windows of heaven open and may the blessings rain down so abundantly that they not only receive enough, but overflow. Being able to bless others, Lord, help them trust in your timing, knowing that you are faithful to meet all their needs far beyond what they could imagine. For those who need healing, Lord, we stretch out our hands in intercession. You are the great physician, and we believe in your power to restore the body, mind, and spirit. No matter the severity of the illness, whether it be physical, emotional, or mental, we declare your healing over their lives. Let them feel your presence right now. Let every broken heart be comforted and every weakened body be restored. Your word assures us that nothing is impossible for you, and today we hold on to your promises of healing. Father, we ask for your divine protection over all of us. We know that we live in challenging times, but we trust that you are our shield, our unshakable fortress. We ask that your angels surround us, guarding our families, our homes, and our health. May your peace invade our hearts, driving out every worry, fear, and anxiety. Help us rest in the security that you are always watching over us. Lord, fill us with your peace as we wait for the fulfillment of your promises. Strengthen our faith so that even when we cannot see the way ahead, we trust that you are already opening the road we will walk. Teach us to wait patiently, knowing that your timing is perfect and that you are always working for our good. Thank you, Father, for the miracles that are already on their way, for the doors that will soon open, for the financial blessings that are coming, and for the healing that is being released. We also thank you for your constant protection which never fails. Today we place our lives, our hopes and our dreams in your powerful hands, trusting that you will lead us to the best you have prepared for us. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray with hearts full of gratitude and hope. Amen. If this message touched your heart and brought blessings into your life today, we encourage you to share it with those who need to hear this message of hope and love. By doing so, you help us obey the instructions written in Mark 16, 15. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Dear brothers and sisters, as we spread the word of the Lord, we are fulfilling the divine will and bringing light to lives that need comfort and guidance. Let us be instruments of God's love, sharing this message and allowing others to experience the peace and joy that come from knowing our Saviour. Together, with hearts full of love and gratitude, let us bring the good news to every corner of the world, following the Lord's call. Don't forget to click the like button. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Now, for those listening who wish to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour, I encourage you to open your heart and receive God's grace. It doesn't matter where you've been or what you've done. Jesus came to save the lost, and God loves you deeply. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Say this simple prayer of salvation in your heart. Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I am a sinner and ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I repent of my sins and invite you into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Thank you so much to everyone who watched our video and prayed with us in these prayers. We are always happy to be part of the daily lives of many of you. 
May God continue to bless the lives of each of you and your families. Until the next video.